Every day throughout Alabama, lawyers serve as leaders on nonprofit boards, in political organizations, and in communities. Alabama lawyers recognize their obligation to provide service to others and to use their leadership skills to fulfill their duties and responsibilities. Lawyers are moved naturally toward positions of leadership because it involves their creativity and critical thinking skills. As a leader, this chapter should be helpful to you. I think the key to leadership is getting people involved. Getting people involved in something that has some substance to it. The best attribute a lawyer can have and a leader can have is the ability to communicate well. And when I say communicate well, that to me means to listen well, you know, in addition to being able to express yourself. I think you have to uh, uh, listen and try to have empathy for other people's positions. If you go into the any association, any organization with the right mindset, in other words, you're going in there for to serve, uh, trying to make a contribution, uh, and you're going to stay focused and stay committed to it, people will, will want you to stay involved, and I think the more involved, time will advance you up through the ranks. To be a lawyer, you got to be a lawyer and nothing else. I uh, got out of law school in 1960 and went to practice actively uh, a, a year and a half later. And I was elected to the, to, uh, the uh, state senate in 1962 and served during Wallace's first administration in the state senate, representing Tallapoosa and Elmore counties. But I was trying to build a sole sole lawyer law practice during that four years and uh, I learned I did not run for re-election and I made a decision then that I was going to get out of politics, I was going to get out of all my other sidelines and concentrate solely upon uh, practicing law. And I did that for the next 26 years. I was not a candidate for anything and didn't participate much uh, in other folks' campaigns. I, I, I attended to my knitting and, and uh, and practiced law and loved it and enjoyed it and uh, humbly speaking was fairly successful uh, at it. Well I think that lawyers, especially young lawyers, <clears throat> can uh, demonstrate their leadership through you know, projects, committees. I know that uh, I joined a number of, of civic clubs and once you get involved in something if you take the time to, to really uh, do it right, you'll aspire to a leadership position, even the chair of a committee or president of the organization. Is I like to put people around me that I feel like are wiser and smarter than myself. And I feel like any leader should do that. I feel like you need to listen to criticism. You need to listen to the people that are around you. Uh, and then I think uh, uh, that a leader, uh, to be successful, has got to have a granite-like commitment to uh, high moral character and virtue. I think that's indispensable to do a good job as a leader. Lawyers uh, will never be loved as a group and I think it's folly to say so. I think what you have to do is do what was begun a number of years to show how lawyers truly serve. People never know what lawyers give in the way of legal advice to their communities, to their churches, to their organizations. At one time we tried to uh, calculate what had been given and even today we do give volunteer awards where people turn in uh, the things that they do in a charitable, but it's always been this way. It's always been this way. Selecting and having good people around you, I think, is uh, is one of the of the, of the critical factors in, in being able to be a, a good leader, and then um, uh, being a a good listener to to the people that that you have uh, assisting you, and then delegating uh, duties and responsibilities to those people. The volunteers 
and they are conscientious about this. They believe that it is an obligation, uh, their obligation as members of this profession to uh, provide these services uh, indirectly, you might say, but on, the ben on behalf of the public uh, to police ourselves. And I think lawyers take this, this responsibility very seriously. Uh, one only has to come to our bar building to see the volunteers who are in and out of that building to know um, that this is something that they take seriously. I mean, after all, they're giving up uh, hours and hours and hours of their time they wouldn't be doing that if they didn't believe in and, and, and were not willing to do a good job uh, of, of carrying out these responsibilities. I think all of us have inherent in us the ability to be a leader, but I think we have to project that out to people who are receptive to that. And I've been fortunate enough to be around people who have accepted the, the God-given skills or talents that I have.